Criticate! Hey, what's up? Welcome to America's Least Popular Podcast. Jacob, how are you doing today? Our least pop? No, come on. I mean, I guess it depends on how you look at it. Because, like, if, if, if you're talking least popular, like, gets the lowest amount of views... Yeah, we might we might be there. That's what we popularity might. is. No, 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 no. Because like, what like what if there's like uh, welcome to the what if there's a podcast out there that's like welcome to the puppy killing zone? Like, there, there's got to be like like they're not popular. They get a lot of views because people are like, fuck this podcast. Yeah, this, these but guys like, are assholes. I'm gonna give them so much money so they can kill more <laughs> puppies. No, I don't think well, that's a thing. People don't think about it like that. They don't give money. They just they just listen to it. They don't understand the real. You gotta be woke. You gotta watch Rick and Morty to what? understand. <laughs> but come on, I mean, what about like uh, <laughs> New Taylor? The the reason that she's so successful is because she's so New bad. Taylor. New Taylor Swift. Oh, New Taylor. New Taylor. Oh, fuck New we Taylor. Talked about it last week. It's my favorite. Oh, I thing love to New hate. Taylor. <laughs> On I the mean, other regard, like, yeah. uh, New Kesha is fantastic. Really? Yeah, her music okay. is incredible and powerful. Her Ooh. album came out. In Early August. Nice. Highly recommend it to all one of you guys listening. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think uh, this this one might get more because we're gonna we're gonna name it embarrassing childhood stories. Yeah. So people like that shit. Yeah. I mean, try and guess what our topic is today. Uh, well, it's in the title, <laughs> so check that I know, out. They know, but yeah. Uh, are we gonna do another improv game today? Do you think? Maybe I don't know. Uh, I do want to talk about our week though. Yeah, of course, of yeah. course, of course. So what, what happened to you? Ah, uh, shit. Uh, I dropped a class, uh, so I oh, have more fuck. time free. Oh, I did nice. an interview at a certain very popular coffee chain. Oh. Um, I bought a cardboard cutout and put it on someone's car. It's productive. Uh, <laughs> I went to Sushi Station. Cool. Uh, after dinner, uh, and, oh. I, and I and I bought ten dollars worth of sushi, and I felt bad about myself because I was like, I'm not going to spend anything. I'm just going for my friend. Uh, I started playing Infamous Second Son for the PS4, oh, and that game is game. really fucking yeah. fun. Uh, you you hit a wall fast of shit that like it ends pretty quickly. But Does like, it? yeah, unfortunately, well, I mean, it's, it's, it's you play it you play through it twice. That's just kind of yeah, yeah. But there's not that I like I I did, and it's like there's not that much difference. Unfortunately, got it. Mm. I, you know whatever. Well, I just like zipping around. It's, so. Oh yeah, no, it feels really cool. Uh, I uh. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done anything this week. Okay, I, I I've pretty much stayed in. Okay, I mean I did too, but I watched some of the worst garbage I have ever watched. What was that? Uh, first, I watched Batman and Harley Quinn. Oh no, how was that? <laughs> the direct to DVD DC movie. Um, what a fucking masterpiece of shit! Like, why why is just, that? It's just like. It's really overtly sexual. Of like, course. Like it's adult. Yeah. And like, I don't have a problem with that, but then like, like they'll be making a sex joke. And then like the next second, Harley Quinn's farting in the Batmobile. It, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. There's it a has fart joke. Yes. Like real, like a really overt one. And like, it's super dumb. And then like all the dialogue feels bad. Like it's like a five-year-old wrote everything. Is it like forced and contrived to put oh, Batman and Harley Quinn together? Sure. Okay. Okay. And, and the worst, like the worst part of it is that it ends on the worst note I've ever seen. Is it like a sequel bait? No, it's worse than that. Like it ends like a, like a Looney tune. Okay. Spoilers for, for <laughs> spoilers Batman and Harley, Harley Quinn. Harley uh, Quinn. Just skip ahead like 10 seconds. <laughs> So what happens is uh, Batman and and Ro Batman and Nightwing and Harley Quinn are all trapped and like uh, John Woodrow is like about to end. Who's the John Woodrow? Yeah, uh, the DC villain. He's like a interdimensional dryad. Okay. Uh, he's like the swamp. What's thing, a dryad? Uh, <laughs> like a spirit in a tree. He's he's Got like it. the swamp thing, but evil. Okay. Um, and so who's like, the swamp thing? You, you no, know, <laughs> swamp thing's a good guy. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> You need to explain it to the audience okay. at home who does not know. Okay. Uh, the Swamp Thing is... Um, a tree man. Next. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so so what happens is he's like going to unleash this virus that'll turn everyone half plant. Hot. And um, the Swamp Thing comes out and he's like, you're doing a bad thing. The green hates this. Uh, and he's like, oh no. And the Swamp Thing's like, but I'm not going to do anything to stop you. And then he goes away. And then... <laughs> <laughs> and then and Harley then, Quinn's like... Harley Quinn's like he has some pudding and she hands him a pudding cup and then and then everyone cheers and no, it's a party. No, worse. So oh, they're no. still trapped and she's like, 
Batman's like, how do we stop him? And she's like, guys, he's made of plant. You can just set him on fire. And they're like, oh, Harley. And then they kiss her on the cheek and then it just ends. What? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of the movie. I was so angry. What the fuck? <laughs> it's the I worst. can't even make a joke I out know, of that. I know, because it is. It's so ridiculous. And it's not It's not like it's funny. It's just really like People are bad. really looking forward to this. Yeah, it's so shit. That's so funny. Oh, and then the other thing I watched that was really shit, but I really love it, is uh, Neo Yokio. Fuck, I watched one episode of Neo <laughs> Yokio. That's the Jaden Smith anime. Jaden Smith anime. It's terrible. It's, it's truly abysmal. But I really love it. it the animation is just horrible the and lazy. The animation is really, really lazy. It's like, it's just like they open and close their mouths a bunch of times. That's what talk. I was saying. They, yeah. they, there's no, their mouths don't move at all when no, they speak. It's no. just up and down. Yeah. And it's like, it's American. It's just it's very, very highly mimicking an anime style. Yeah. So yeah. it was really jarring the fact that their lips are actually matching their words for me. <laughs> right. Like, like that, that, that actually fuck with me a little bit. Yeah. But then the fact where they aren't actually kind of, but they're kind of. Yeah, really it's fucked with really me. weird. It's it's really bad. Uh, and Jaden Smith is terrible. <laughs> Jaden Smith is terrible. Jaden Smith cannot act. The thing is, though, there's like a lot of one-liners and shit that I actually do find really funny. And there's times when I think that it is self-aware enough that I'm like, I can't wait to see a second season. <laughs> uh, what about the one part in the first episode where he walks up to that old man who's grieving over his dead wife and <laughs> makes fun of her <laughs> the heirloom yeah, her choice he- of perfume. <laughs> yeah, she's like, he's like, this perfume was really important to her, so I bring it to her in her grave, and he's like, that smells like shit. He was, <laughs> yeah, I prefer new things. Old people are so dumb. Like, and yeah, he literally <laughs> says, old people that. are fucking dumb. <laughs> and he's like, I'm the most eligible bachelor in New York. And, and, and for reference, the reason why he's at the graveyard is to visit a grave that he made himself to grieve over his life. <laughs> it's just, It's a masterpiece of shit. I mean, like, my, one of my favorite parts is in the second episode... There's like a whole plot point where like he's wearing a midnight blue tux instead of an actual black tux. Yeah. And then at the end, he's fighting a demon and she's like, why are you hiding? It's a midnight blue sky and you're wearing a black tux. I can see you perfectly. God fucking <laughs> it's, hell. It's so stupid, but I really, really like it. Uh, there's one quote. Uh, that really got me. Yeah. Uh, it was it was in the first episode. Someone's like, "Is it really time to be drinking or something like that?" <laughs> and he's like, "Who can care about time <laughs> when my life is in an abominable despair of whackness?" <laughs> yeah. They invent a martini in later episodes. They invent a martini called the Caprizi Martini. What the fuck? Which is like the Caprizi salad, but like Ew. they turn it into a martini. <laughs> It's so fucking it's weird. So weird. I couldn't get past it. I thought it was too bad. I I really liked it. <laughs> I I hated I, it. I, it's really bad, and I accept that. But like, I I think you should check it out. <laughs> I, I mean, mean, watch one episode. Yeah, yeah. People were having watch parties like to see how shit it was. So oh like, god. I mean, it's kind of a success in that way. I. I assume maybe not past like the first week. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. I mean, it's, I this is the Netflix, Netflix death note of, of, of anime. <laughs> so I guess, uh, but at least this one is, I don't know. It has moments that I like. Uh, I thought I would definitely watch death note Netflix again over one episode of Neo Yokio. Really? Yeah. I fucking loved that movie. Oh, okay. It was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> it was so silly. Uh, I, uh, yeah. You, you do anything else this week? Yeah, I did. Um, I, I, uh, I'm starting a, a new project for the channel, Ooh. Super Secret. Um, and is it the sex tape? Oh, no. Hot, sex is funny, right, guys? Sex is Please funny. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you think <laughs> sex is hilarious. <laughs> sex is really funny, but no, it's not a sex tape yet. We'll get there. We'll get, we'll no, get there. Uh, was it 5 million subscribers? Uh, sure. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I don't remember, but yeah, we'll, we'll get to a sex tape. I played something else. I don't remember. Uh, uh, my life was played overcome. the game. Yeah, I did play the game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I don't know. My memory is overtaken by Neo Yokio facts. <laughs> God, it was awful. <laughs> it was so bad. I highly recommend it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> One episode. Just exactly. give it a look. And I was like, the thing that really drew me to it was like, I was searching online. Like, what do people think of Neo Yokio? And they're like, God, this is the worst anime ever. You have to go see it. And I'm like, <laughs> what, what does that mean? <laughs> it's, uh, I, is it worse than Orton high school host club? 
I don't think Oren High School Holes Club's that bad. Or, and it's it's certainly not bad for the same reasons. That's true. It's lame as shit. That's why I don't like Oren High School Holes Club. Well, yeah, yeah, and people people don't like that style of anime sometimes and and you know, it's the fandom ruins Oren Oren High School Holes Club a lot. Um but Neo Yokio is is definitely it's like it it tries to be a parody of 90s anime, but it is trying so hard is to that, not be is that what it was trying to do <laughs> yeah oh yeah because there's tons of like they make tons of sailor moon references and tons of like there was a ranma one half uh reference oh shit they i remember ranma one half yeah oh yeah i loved it um <laughs> but they don't do it all that well and so it's like it's it it's trying to be like remember 90s anime and we're like yeah but you're not 90s also Jaden you weren't alive yeah you weren't alive you when weren't this alive happened. how do you remember 90s anime <laughs> I think isn't Jaden Smith younger than me I think so if not the same age yeah he, he he's he's around that age no he's definitely younger than me because he was a little boy in the Karate Kid when I was in middle school so oh okay yeah yeah he's he's very young. Well, the reason I don't like Oren High School Host Club is every time I shut my eyes, I see Tamaki, Tamaki Senpai, and he's just <laughs> holding his arms out, and Kiss Kiss Fall in Love is playing. Every time I blink, the whole theme song plays in my head, kiss, and it's... Kiss Kiss Fall in Love. See, but <laughs> the whole point is to, like, flip that on its head. That's, like... Because, like, the main character doesn't fall in love with him until, like... It, it, spoilers. <laughs> until, like, the end, and they actually do earn it. Yeah. <laughs> So it's, I don't know. I, don't, I, I, I think it would be I a think hard, bo- this, hard sell to try and get to convince people that Oren High School Host Club is subversive. No, it is. Because, cause like, all the yaoi shit that they do uh, and, like, like, the two twin brothers who are in love, that's supposed to be, like, a joke and, like, a play on all the shit that happens in other anime. It just doesn't come off that way. I, I think it does. I think a lot of anime fans don't think it like they take it way. in they earnest take, but yeah, they take it in earnest and like oh my gosh look at those two cute boys they're about to kiss it's like they're brothers like, yeah exactly what is this game of thrones or <laughs> what uh, is this? south park with <laughs> with creek <laughs> wait what oh yeah Craig 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 i love that <laughs> i love them have you been watching have you been keeping yeah, up with south yeah. park? <laughs> the, the last episode was incredible it was so good. it was so fucking funny oh my God. they had an episode about uh, it tackled a lot of shit. It tackled a lot. It, it was about suicide yeah. prevention. It mm-hmm. was about abusive relationships. It was about uh, the president tweeting. It was about North Korea. Yeah. It was It was and, about and a lot of things. It was about Craig and Tweak. They got fidget spinners in there. Oh, they did get fidget spinners <laughs> in there. And they juggled it all flawlessly. Oh, yeah. It's like, real good. I liked the first episode of the season. It was okay. But like, I thought it was like not... I was like, oh, no. This could be the start of a bad... The, the episode two no, came around. No, and no. it just <laughs> blew yeah, me away. It's so good. It was classic South Park. Uh, I love I love Creek, so I, I'm gonna I'm so <laughs> happy to see that. God, see, I have a very personal stake in that because my sister used to be really involved in the South Park. Oh, fandom. really? Yeah, when oh, she was like okay. in middle school, like like she didn't understand any of the jokes, but man, did she want all the boys to fuck? Right, of course. And, <laughs> <laughs> and so I have a very very personal investment in <laughs> Creek, uh, Pip and Damien. Okay, uh, that's both of those characters are gone. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't think Damien showed up since the second season. No, he hasn't. And Pip is fucking dead. <laughs> Pip, Pip died because of the fandom. Because of the fandom, yeah. So, so funny. Oh, whatever. Uh, uh, anyway, what beautiful. We what should get to our, our topic of the week, I suppose. Yes, yes, yes. Childhood embarrassing <laughs> stories. Uh, and, and when I say childhood, I mean like the day you came out to Puss Puss to the day you exited high school. <laughs> Okay. So this is this is full range of embarrassing shit. Sure. I'm gonna start off by okay. saying when I was Lots a freshman, uh, I I went to uh, ask out my friend to homecoming, quote unquote, as a joke, but it was really not a joke in my heart. Oh, uh, <laughs> shout outs to Madison. Oh, no, she's she's a good friend of mine. No, I no, just, but that's just a sad story. <laughs> I was just a neckbeard loser. <laughs> no, uh, without a neckbeard. No, you'll. I'll, I'll okay, let me explain. Well, explain. Yeah, sure. So she was like, we. She was joking. She's like. Uh, uh, you should you should go. We in the middle of our high school, we had like like a big central area where everyone met called the pit. Yeah. Uh, and it was like like a like a hole in the ground that had like stairs. Everyone sat in like kind of like a circle around it and in it and it's whatever. As lame as it sounds. Oh yeah. <laughs> and so she's like, haha, If you wanted to ask me to homecoming, uh, I would only accept it if you wore a top hat with a rose. Like as a joke. Clearly, she was joking. Sure. So my compromise to that 
uh, is I want to paint a picture of how I looked that day. I didn't own a top hat, so I, I, I had the nearest possible thing, uh, a okay. fedora. Uh, I, pour, I put on a fedora. Sure. Uh, I put on a shitty vest that was my dad's that f- was three sizes too big for me. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, I didn't have a rose, so I just mimed like I had one in my hands. <laughs> I got on one knee in the center of the school in front of everyone yeah. in this fedora yeah. and asked this girl to go to homecoming with me as a friend. Oh. And then when she said yes, haha, very uncomfortably, uh, I gloated about it for weeks. <laughs> You did? Uh huh. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, that's no. The saddest part of the story. That was, I, yeah. <laughs> I was truly the saddest guy oh, in the man. world. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh. I think about that a lot. <laughs> it's very right. funny to me. Yeah. Uh, I have a ton of embarrassing stories. I'll have to think of them. <laughs> okay. Uh, one, one I have, uh, <clears throat> I have ready is um, my senior year of high school. Uh, I, it's, I think it's common to do across the country, but uh, I'm not sure. Uh, like for, for one of the dances, we have an entire week where you dress up in yeah, dress up things. days. Yeah. Yeah. Dress up days. So each day you dress up as a different thing. Um, preset by like the student council or whatever. Yeah, exactly. And they spread the word. Yeah. Uh, one of the days for one of the days was like Harry Potter day. Yeah. But apparently the entire student body decided, nah, Fuck that. And they all dressed up. Uh, I think we weren't allowed to do gender switching day, but everyone had decided, well, that's when we're going to do gender. But you switching didn't day. get the memo. No, I got the memo, but I'm like, no, fuck it. I love Harry Potter. I'm going to fucking dress up as Harry Potter. And I did. So you jizzed all over yourself and called yourself a Patronus? No. <laughs> uh, I, I was, it was just me and one other girl who dressed up as Bellatrix and we were the only two people. You also dressed up as super- Bellatrix, correct? No, as I said before, I dressed up as Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that was, uh, we, we wand dueled in the middle of the li- in the oh, cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I love that shit. That I hurts never- me. Why? What, what, did you win? I did not win a fake duel, no. Uh, what, what kind of spells <laughs> did you cast? Um, you have to cast Expeller- Expelliarmus because I was the good guy, Robert. I can't mm. cast the curses. Well, I mean, you don't you don't just cast you don't only do Expelliarmus. Harry does. It's a plot point. He's an asshole who only does the weakest spell ever. He also uses Pratigo. He occasionally, <laughs> <laughs> and eventually he uses the stun one. Uh, he uses Stupefy. Yeah. Did you ever play the? This is a really stretch. Yeah. But did you ever play Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part Two, the video game? No, I stopped playing the video games after six. You know, that's fair. Yeah. Because they sucked at that yeah. point. <laughs> uh, can, I, can I describe to you the gameplay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was a third-person shooter. Uh, the closest... Actually, not even the closest. <laughs> it was just Gears of War. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, and if you don't know what Gears of War is, it's an ultra-violent shooter game yeah. uh, where you shoot aliens and then you chainsaw them and then yeah. there's blood everywhere. The, the meta is shoot and run up and kill with melee. And then... And then um, <laughs> and then Harry Potter's doing that <laughs> shit in this video game, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> but awesome. with no blood, he's doing it with magic and he's just <laughs> knocking them out. <laughs> oh, that's lame. And, Fuck. and he gets different spells that yeah. are just like different guns. Like, like it starts out with just like a regular spell where sure. it's just like, choo, 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 like yeah, normal. Uh, at, by the end of the game, you have a spell that's just a machine gun. <laughs> 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 Makes no fucking that's sense. That's dumb. Uh, I guess it's my turn for an embarrassing story, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I'll think of another uh, one. I think I might have said this one on the show before, but fuck it. This is the embarrassing uh, stories episode, and no one watches our show anyway. Yeah, they so, do. <laughs> I'm joshing. <laughs> I'm fucking around. We hit 100 subscribers. We did hit 100 so, subscribers! Th- thank you all. That's a big deal for us, actually. <laughs> uh, to our fans, to my parents, uh, to the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Actually, no, fuck the Holy Ghost. <laughs> to my father and my son. Thanks. Okay. Fuck the Holy Ghost. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so when yeah. I was a boy, mm-hmm. a little boy, yes. a little orphan boy, yes. sitting on my own on the street corner uh, after my parents' demise. I don't think that's true, but okay. <laughs> uh, I was trying to sell my newspaper for a couple of shillings for the, for the feast. Yeah. Uh, and of course the feast would be, you know, picked chicken bones and... Uh, and uh, maybe a corn, like a one 
like a corn. <laughs> this is a very embarrassing story. Yeah. <laughs> so I got eight shillings, uh, a, a mighty good haul uh, okay. for, for my case. Sure. And uh, I went to the butcher's market and I said, what could I get for eight shillings? Uh, and, uh, and he said, you can get a big old fucking slab of meat. And he slapped it on the table ahead of me. And I just, I didn't know that you were supposed to cook meat. Uh, I was so really worried you were taking this in a very dark place. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so I, I, I ate at least four pounds of this meat because I was so very hungry. Yeah. Um, and then I got very food sick and I, and I puked all over the butcher store and then I sucked his dick, Jacob. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that probably didn't happen what? but no, in case stop. it did i'll just okay uh i'm my my embarrassing story you told one about an embarrassing uh date type thing to not a <laughs> what not a date just well, a no, horrible no, no, but you, you said you wanted it to be and you were bragging about it i mean it's fair, like an fair. embarrassing like date story um in a similar vein i i had a crush on a girl for like i had a crush on a girl basically off and on throughout high school we dated off and on uh, and she she had a crush on a uh, a guy who was like four years older than her. Chad Thundercock? No, like the exact <laughs> opposite. He was like, oh no, yeah, he was like a greasy fuck boy. He was like who played cod all the time and like bragged about it. He was the worst. So he was chode lightning dick, <laughs> kind of. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so I I I kept like asking her out, and, and eventually. Like we would date occasionally, and I asked I asked her to the homecoming dance my junior year, I think. Yeah. Um. We we got ready. I was super excited. We got everything ready to go, and then I got we got there, and she got a call from him, and she oh, left. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> what a dick move, right? Um. She's still my friend, and. Yeah, th- that sucked. Like I, I, I fucking hated the night. I found out my best friend was dating my ex that night too. Holy shit! Yeah, um, but it turned out okay because I mean, it's like I, I talked to a lot of people there. So a girl who I would eventually go to to go on to date. And oh, good. I, I talked to. I mean, the girl my best friend was dating, who was my ex. I ended up dating her again. So it's like that night led to a lot of good shit eventually but it was it sucked then it was super embarrassing during my junior year turnabout yeah uh, which is which is uh a sadie hawkins dance or mm-hmm. a, a girls ask the boys kind of dance yeah uh so i decided uh my i was single at the time i'm very rarely single uh so this was like a i don't know how to be single uh and i just kind of blunder into relationships uh, so all the times when I'm single, I just do a bunch of really cringy, embarrassing shit. <laughs> I don't think I would now because it's been a few years and I and I, I know my way around the block. But you don't know. <laughs> that's true. I don't. I don't know at all. <laughs> so at this turnabout, my one goal yeah. was to try and start a, a, a relationship with a girl. Oh. It was, it was, I knew that she was going alone. It yeah. was, and we had, we had been talking <clears throat> and I was like, all right. I'm going to, if not start the relationship, plant seeds. Okay. So I walked up. Oh, and to anyone listening, I'm not going to tell you who it is, even you, Emily, because uh, <laughs> it's really embarrassing. Uh, and <laughs> I walk up to her midway was, through the it dance. It was your 50-year-old math teacher, yeah. Mr. Jablonski. <laughs> <laughs> so I walk up to, I'm not going to say their name, but, so we'll just call her, we'll, we'll give them a ten, tenable name. Uh, t- tentative name, uh, uh, Mr. J. Mr. Uh, J. Mr. J. I walked up to her, him, uh, <laughs> him, her, uh, her, her. I walked up to her. Yeah. Uh, and I said, uh, Can I suck your cock? Yeah. And then <laughs> just, I got down on my knees and the, I was 18 at the time because I was a junior. Yes. Uh, and that's an age that you turn when you're 18. <laughs> and that's the, that's the grade that you're in. Uh, and so I just blew him right there. Wow. Yeah. What's the real story? <laughs> the real story is midway through the dance, I was going to make my move. I walked up to the girl and I just said, you look nice. And then she's like, thanks. Aww. And then I walked <laughs> away Aww. and I didn't talk to her again. Oh, that's actually really sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> um, I, I have actually, I forgot. I have a lot of embarrassing theater stories. Oh, go for it. Um, well, okay. So one thing is my sister and I don't really look alike. 
Um, not at all. Uh, like, like if if you know we're related and you look for it, we kind of do. But other than that, you just get the same nose. That's yeah. Everyone says that. Mm-hmm. But other than that, we look almost nothing alike. And so uh, during like theater practice, everyone would ass- like everyone who was who didn't know my sister thought we were dating. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, and, and and eventually like didn't know that we were like it was it was not common knowledge that we were related yeah because uh, we don't like our last names we don't tell them to anyone and we were just like we would leave and come together but we wouldn't really hang out and people but you were wouldn't like, come together is what you're saying you're talking about my sister. That's fucking Wait, shit, weird. Sorry. What is wrong with you? Sorry, Gosh. I blew my math teacher in. <laughs> and the subtle implication that everyone thought you were fucking your sister is ne- is not okay for okay. this podcast. Though. Well, yeah, kind of. <laughs> uh, but anyway, the embarrassing that hap- thing that happened uh, really to my sister that I found out through proxy was that <laughs> I was... I was on stage and I was acting and apparently one of her friends like leaned over and was like... I'd fuck that, <laughs> wouldn't you? And she was like, um, <laughs> that's my brother. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Which was really funny to me. I really like that. Super uncomfortable. <laughs> I wouldn't even be uncomfortable. That's just really funny. Uh, weird. <laughs> But yeah, that's uh, and I've there's tons of I forgot theater is is a whole mess of embarrassment, not to mention oh fuck science olympiad. Oh yeah, tell me about tell me uh, your embarrassing science olympiad. Science story. olympiad. Well, we played. Uh, it was it's embarrassing in hindsight, but back then I had a blast. We played like a five hour game of Mao. Holy um, shit! If you don't know what Mao is, we can't explain we it. Can't explain it. One That's of the, the rules. Point. One of the rules of Mao is that you can't tell anyone the rules of Mao. So it's just it's just a game you have to either be a little bitch and look up how to play on the internet. <laughs> yeah, or or play with people and learn. Preferably that. Um, yeah. yeah, preferably that. God, there's, I haven't played that game in a long time. Yeah, there's different regional rules and shit too. Holy that shit! I found out. Um, and and, but if you one thing I can kind of explain is that the game builds over time. Yes. So people will add rules and shit. So a five hour game <laughs> was ridiculous. Christ, yeah. It was fucking, and it was like, we got like 13 people playing at once. Uh, and we were all playing in a circle and it was a massive game of Mao. It was fun. Awesome. But yeah, <laughs> but that's not an embarrassing story. You just, a, you it's a good embarrassing time. in hindsight. That's not embarrassing at all. That sounds really great. Nah, it was it was kind of cringy. Sounds like a great bonding experience. It was fun, but yeah, I definitely I wouldn't do that now. I'd I, play Mao with my friends, but not like I would. I, w- I would do it. I don't know. It's like it's like playing Magic in public. It's just it's like I like Magic the Gathering, but doing it in public is like really kind of cringy. Okay, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> As that, I mean, like, no offense if you do play. It yeah, in you got to play Yu-Gi-Oh in public. That's the one that right, gets, that's that's the the one cool that gets you one. fucked. Right. Yeah, yeah. You play Yu-Gi-Oh and, and people fuck you. Everyone immediately. wants to fuck Yugi in those tight pants, so you know. Stop, dude! I can't. Get, I can't get even <laughs> I can't more get hard. Right. Any harder. <laughs> if I lose any more blood to my, from my brain, I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> <laughs> Just like last week in in our yeah, hive swap we, episodes. He almost passed out. <laughs> Uh, oh, embarrassing childhood story. Oh, this was the one that I was gonna say earlier when I said I, I thought I told this one before, but then I sidetracked it into a completely different story. Yeah, this is the story oh, I was okay, talking about. Sure, sure. So one time when I was a kid, uh, there's there's a park really close to my house, like a little nice park. There was like an, a little tube that you would crawl through, swings, you know, the whole the whole shindig. Sure. Uh, and so the center floor of like the tube. <gasps> <laughs> Sorry, I was yawning and I was screaming at the same time existentially because when I yawn, I close my eyes and I think about Orin High School Host Club. <laughs> kiss, kiss, fall in love. Dinny, 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 dinny. <laughs> game on, gotcha, game on. That's a Yu-Gi-Oh! GX theme song, by the way. Is it? It is. Uh, fuck, what was I saying? <laughs> oh, yeah. So there was like a hole right in the center of, of this, this uh, tube that, that we crawled through. And the tube was about, uh, I got to say, like five feet off the ground. Okay. So, uh, the tube, the hole in the tube was not like a perfectly round hole either. It's like clearly someone broke through the tube and it's very jagged and spiky, sure. but it seemed like a pretty big hole. <laughs> so we, we crawl past it. It's whatever. No one cared. Uh, so one time I was playing tag with my sister Yeah. and she was, uh, she was, she was chasing me. I was hide and seek tag. Okay. So I was hiding in the tube and I had a brilliant idea. Yeah. 
So what would happen is I'd wait for my sister to look at all the hiding spots outside. And then when she gets near the tube, I'd crawl through the hole mm. and then and then she <laughs> then hide in a space she'd already hidden she'd already looked in. Yeah, yeah. So I climbed through the hole every part of my body. I put my legs through it, I put my body through yeah. it, I put my arms through it. Oh. Uh for some reason my head doesn't fit. <laughs> Uh, so I'm hanging myself uh, with a jagged noose. Yeah. Uh, and luckily, my chin w- caught one of the spikes. So it was getting dug into, Ooh. but I was not being choked, okay. which would have killed me. Yeah, yeah. I would have died. Yeah. Uh, and it didn't cut into anything significant in my neck. Uh, and so I, I try and get my mom's attention by just swigging my legs all over the place. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Just really Ooh. jabbing into my neck, <laughs> and uh, Damn. uh, and so they had to call the fire department, yeah. and they had to saw me out, and then they renovated the whole park because of me. <laughs> it's a completely <laughs> different park. Oh, all because I hung myself once. <laughs> Jeez, you know, you do it one wow. time, and, and suddenly, suddenly people treat you like you're different. <laughs> you know, suddenly they build a new park. You yeah, know, what's that about? a safer park. <laughs> <laughs> Where children can't hang themselves. Okay. Though the new park has like a really <laughs> high up ledge with no safety bars. Really? And it's not one of the ones that has like sand. It's one of the ones that has like that hard but kind of bouncy material at yeah, the bottom. Yeah, yeah. So if you fell off that, you break your arm for sure. Sure, sure. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, any embarrassing stories? Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, there's... I mean, I, I can't tell some of these stories. I can't tell. They're, they're a bit personal. Yeah. Well, it, not for me. Gotcha. For gotcha. Other people. That, that makes I, sense. I can't tell these stories. Oh, I'll tell, I'll tell everyone about my least favorite part in theater. Okay. Um, my least favorite part that I've ever played ever was, uh, in radium girls. Um, <clears throat> we, I, which if, you talked about radium girls on the last podcast. We so did that out. If you want to know what that's about. Right. Uh, it's Yeah. If you don't want to look that up, it's about <laughs> girls who eat radium and died. Um, it's more involved than that. But like I <laughs> each person would play like multiple parts. Like even if you were the lead, you, yeah. you played like a side part. And so I got cast as like the the German uh, inventor and discoverer of, of radium and, and some of its uses and everything. And that part I liked. But I had a side part where I had to dress up as a cowboy hot <laughs> and deliver a letter to a, to like a girl it was super embarrassing like uh, please they, they spent how. they spent an entire day picking out my cowboy costume and i had to go out and model for all the girls as a cowboy how many how I many assless chaps did they make you hate wear it. um i think i think my final costume was just jeans but they did have a pair of assless chaps and she's like nope we're not going to use these <laughs> why did that, she just have a pair of assless chaps because uh, because it, she thought that i could wear it over like the jeans but it didn't work it was it was like yeah <laughs> like it would have looked fine if it if you know if you've been able to put it over the jeans or whatever it would have like, looked fine if i if you hadn't put anything <laughs> under if it i was able to go bare ass <laughs> that'd be really funny uh yeah, it would have been because I, I was supposed to be like hitting on this girl who's dying, uh, but and it's then you not. turn around and you and show then turn her around your bare and ass. have an ass. Yeah, <laughs> you you turn around and have an ass. <laughs> yeah, uh, you, and you don't you don't have it exposed. You just have one, and she's like, yeah, just, "Oh my oh god, god, you actually have an ass." I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, no, but that's my least favorite part. She reaches super out and pokes it, and she's it was like, like <laughs> "What the fuck?" I I like I had a good part for the rest of the show, but then everyone would always comment on the stupid and like i did like a cowboy accent and it was like your cowboy accent's amazing like thanks I do it really hard on my do no, it for the podcast I, I fucking hate that accent jacob i no, i really don't what like are the it. odds <laughs> uh one in 600 okay one, one two, two three, three 549 damn <laughs> that was close though i said 579 let me tell a joke jacob <laughs> <laughs> uh go f- go for a an embarrassing story. Uh, this is very similar to the last one. Oh, yeah? Okay. Uh, so one time when I was a kid, I watched an episode of Arthur. And this is when I was still in diapers. Sure. Uh, I, I I watched an episode of Arthur where he was a superhero. And I was like, 
that looks cool as shit. Yeah. I thought those words. I thought, that looks cool as motherfucking shit. Hot damn. <laughs> damn ass motherfucking shit, Arthur. Yeah. Shit, Arthur. Fuck, Arthur. And then Arthur just came out of the screen. He slapped me. And he said, stop talking like that. And I said, sorry, Arthur. And I got on my hands and knees and I started praying. And then, you know, that's how I discovered religion. Uh, you got an embarrassing story? That is very similar to the last one. Um, I do have a story. I, I want to go for a story that I had in my childhood. Uh, cause most of these were in high school. I also um, have a real story that has to do with that basis, but keep going. Do your choice. Um, so, oh shit. No, I just forgot it. Fuck. No. Fuck. fuck. What, 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 what was I thinking about? What was I thinking uh, about? Before Arthur, stupid super Arthur. Arthur shit. <laughs> uh, fuck oh, it. I'll tell, I'll tell my story. Yeah, tell I'll tell my story. story. Uh, I'll try to remember what I was thinking of. So the real story was I saw an episode of Arthur on the screen uh, and I and I was like, he was flying. He had a cape. He was looking like Superman. Like that was the joke or whatever. Okay. And I was like, that looks really cool. I want to be just like Super Arthur. And so my dad had one of those computer chairs that has like... um. It's like a regular sit-up chair, but there's like kind of like a hole in the back where like you, oh, yeah. you, you can bend on it. And, right. You know. Uh, so I put my whole body through that hole. Okay. Uh, and I started going like, I'm Super Arthur. And I was like, all right, I've had my fill of this <laughs> little game. Sure. And I, uh, I went to go take myself out of the chair. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't. <laughs> uh so I shit myself right there. Well, I was like three. <laughs> no, oh, not okay. three. Because I would not be. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was still in diapers. Yeah, you were young. So I shit myself. And then that made it even harder to, to escape. Well, of course. And so I was just, have, I threw a fit. And then the fire department came and they're like, this fucking kid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I remember my story. Um, I, I got tricked. So like Ooh, I was, tri- I've always been like, uh, uh, like. A pretty trusting person, um, which people abuse a lot. Uh, but Fair. when I was like, when you were a kid, like you don't, like they don't understand. Kids don't understand that they're being manipulative or being fuckers or whatever. Yeah, uh, they're just having fun. And so, <laughs> we we had a book. It was like fourth grade, and we had a a like book on like slavery for whatever reason. Oh no, I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know why. But then this one this one black girl who was my friend was like, this is the worst word you can ever say. You can never say this word. And she pointed right to it and shoved it in my face. And so me, an innocent fourth grader, the word slavery said the N word (laughs) to to the class (laughs) in class because I had no fucking idea. I mean, like that's when you learn that. (laughs) That's true. That's when you learn that shit. And like, she knew that it was a bad word, and she tricked me into saying it. Well, no, she pointed at the book and said, this is the worst word, don't say it. Yeah, but I was a kid. If you go up to a word, point at something, and say, never say this, they're going to repeat it instantly. I <laughs> don't agree. <laughs> what? Not what all kids are about? you. No, 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 no. That's, that's a very common thing. If someone you pointed at a word when like, I was a kid, and I said, and they said, don't say that. I'd be mortified. She insisted. She was like, don't say that word. Wait, which word? This one right here. And I was like, oh, like it, she was baiting me to do it. I don't think she, she was, was. She was. She was fine with it. We were friends after that. We were friends for a long time before that, too. I don't know, Jacob. You're just. I think you just said that <laughs> word because you wanted to, you, PewDiePie. You're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah. That's, no, he was in the heat of the moment. And I and I. You're doing the PewDiePie defense. I'm not doing the PewDiePie defense. I'm doing the I was a fucking fourth grader and I didn't know it. <laughs> PewDiePie is not a fourth grader. My most controversial stance ever. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, so when I was a kid, I had one of those fucking guys who uh, tried to trick me into thinking that there was different. There was a bunch of characters in Super Smash Brothers Melee. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he told me it was Bowser Jr. You'd... Uh, after you beat Bowser like 50 times on classic mode, he'd come out and there was a cutscene, which should have tipped me off because there's no cutscenes in that game. <laughs> right. Yeah. There's a cutscene where he comes out and says, that's my dad. You can't beat him up. And then if you beat him, you unlock him. Oh, and then wow. he tricked me into thinking that if you beat uh, the game as, as uh, Bowser Jr., you unlock just a regular old Koopa, which seems <laughs> backwards. And he did that with at least... 20 characters really and i bought it oh wow completely (laughs) and so uh i was set to go over to his house to play smash with him and then 
he 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 comes to me crying on the bus the next day. Yeah. And he says, "My sister was doing a science experiment, and she's in high school, and she dropped my memory card in acid." <laughs> What? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? So, <laughs> so this. Jeez. So like, like <laughs> when I think of manipulative yeah. grade schoolers, I think of this fucking mastermind. Because I bought that it. That is pretty fucking genius. He he told me that she dropped his sister dropped his, his memory, memory card, card in acid, in acid yeah. and it melted. Yeah. So obviously he can't show you the proof. He can't show me the proof because <laughs> his sister's a dick. That that that's fucking. That was the craziest thing. Like going back and thinking about that, I was like, "How the fuck did that happen? How do kids get to lie like that? That's crazy." Yeah, um, I, I there's a lot of video game stuff like that. Like, I don't know if if you played Pokemon Red, but oh yeah, um, yeah, but like it was really big when I was a kid. And to do the, Mew we stories. Were, yeah, we were convinced that we could get Mew um, for Pokemon Snap. We were convinced that there were certain Pokemon that we could unlock because like that's the kind of game like games like that and games like Smash where you do unlock shit is the perfect kind of breeding ground for like, yeah, I found this super secret thing where you can go in and create that shit. And it's like it sounds plausible, but it's. It's obviously not real. Because yeah. <laughs> like for some of it. Is Five Nights at Freddy's, like are Five Nights at Freddy's theories the new, dude, I found Mew under the truck. Yeah, yeah, kind of. I mean, yeah, like exactly. Like when you're going in and like, I found this evidence for this super secret theory. It totally proves it. And it's mm -hmm. like, kind of, but not really. Yeah. I'm <laughs> sure that happens, right? It's like, yeah, dude, I found a new kind of ore in Minecraft. Matt, Matt Pat makes his career off it. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> But that's just a theory, <laughs> Jacob. A game theory. Let's make up a game theory right now. Okay. That's um, our improv game. <laughs> <laughs> sure. We'll move on to making up a game theory. Uh, my game theory. What what game should it be about? Because we need to. We need um, to let's say. What's a game everyone's played? Oh, fuck. Let's say Super Mario 64. Super Mario 64? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh. My game theory is that Super Mario 64 is actually about Bowser Jr. Because it, it's all about oh! it's all about the paintings. And in Super Mario Sunshine, he has a paintbrush. Oh, shit! <laughs> and Mario is being tricked into thinking that it's Bowser he's fighting, but it's Bowser Jr. No, 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 no! <laughs> as good as an actual game theory. <laughs> so I looked at the evidence. <laughs> and there's a yellow band around Bowser Koopa's Fuck hat. you. <laughs> Fuck you. I mean, he, he bases so much off of such little evidence sometimes. It's, it's hard not to make fun of, like, the Ness's Sands theory when it's, like, it's based on almost nothing. Is Mario 64... An allegory for gambling? Uh, I'm going to drink this Diet P Coke and find out. Uh, All right, theorists. Noble theorists. <laughs> Hello, Internet. <laughs> I'm Matt Pat. Pat. Welcome to, <laughs> to Game, Game Theory. <laughs> and here's the deal. When I was back in high school, I really thought about Super Mario 64 a lot. And you know what they say. Uh, I was Fat Pat. <laughs> you always got to bring up Fat Pat. Yeah, you got to bring a Fat Pat. You got to, you know, put in a, a when, slightly embarrassing picture in there. When little Fat Pat was playing Super Mario 64, this was before the Diet Coke days, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I then, played that game for hours, <laughs> and I would love collecting coins. And, mm. then, and then you got to be like... And as an adult, I replayed it, and what I found blew my mind. The themes are included. And God, I love Mad Pat. Seven but. stars. Seven is lucky. <laughs> <laughs> they just play the theme song every five seconds. 
Oh man, I I really like Matt Pat. I do like, too, but he's got like, such a bad formula. His his like yeah, he does like. Uh, his videos are either super obvious or like stuff that's already out on the internet or stretched so thin that they don't make sense. Is Wario and Waluigi's relationship <laughs> an allegory for the AIDS crisis? <laughs> well, like, <laughs> well, like, uh, I mean, like I was looking up the, the Mass Effect video, which I thought I think was one of his better. Videos. No, I think that's a really good video. Yeah. Um, But I looked up the theory and I think the reason he hasn't finished it is because there's not much there. No. <laughs> Like I mean, I completely buy the theory. Like, do you? I, I, I think it's true. Because I, I played through the game, and then like afterwards I looked up the theory, and I was like, does this make sense? And 90% of it hinges on the fact that you have indoctrinationized at the, in the other two endings. Like, it, when, when you sacrifice yourself to mm-hmm. make everything, like, biotic or whatever. Like, it's, it's, it's very thin grounds for a, a theory. <laughs> he does have a killer theme song. It's really good. It, <laughs> always, it always gets me excited. Song. Yeah, exactly. I watch it pretty much ninety yeah. percent of the theme song, <laughs> and I'm like, oh man, maybe chicken nuggets can slow down a fall. And then I'm like, no. <laughs> Fuck, I forgot about that one. <laughs> he actually proves that it's not possible. To his credit, to his credit, he does do real science. And shit My favorite and one is the classic game theory where yeah. he talks about how far Wario could propel himself in space using yeah. only his farts <laughs> for no reason like it doesn't make any sense I, but i, I really like that one but yeah i they used to be fun and a little bit silly and, and shit and i don't know i like uh i like seeing um matt pat drop into a solipsistic coma over the fact that the uh mario's height is ever changing <laughs> <laughs> i like to watch matt pat oscillate his views on five nights at Freddy's over the years <laughs> and slowly go mad as he realizes this plot does this game does not have a plot <laughs> yeah <laughs> I mean oh. it's <laughs> he's he's so good at like speaking and, and performing and shit, oh yeah but like the the theories used to be a little bit sillier and now you used to have more fun with it no. yeah now he's just like I mean like when you he guys made fun of my Undertale <laughs> theory when when he when he does like Hello Neighbor he's pretty much just explaining the plot of like, yeah it makes game. sense like yeah and, yeah and like you can find it and he treats it like it's he treats it like ancient aliens like yeah. it's like <laughs> like the most amazing thing that's ever happened and it's it's kind of sad <laughs> see my most embarrassing story is that I've seen every game theory <laughs> <laughs> I have too yeah my most embarrassing story is that I know the entire plot to Naruto. Woo! Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh! is an average anime at best. Yeah. <laughs> so that's where we're going to end the episode. <laughs> is it? about 40 minutes in. Yeah, right? fuck it. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, one more embarrassing story. One time Jacob and I were having sex, and then I, uh, I didn't... I lost my... Never mind. See you guys on the next one. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. One last embarrassing story. Go for it. I was in college and I had this friend named Robert and I said, hey, you want to do a Let's Play channel? And then we we did. Yeah, and then no one watched our fucking podcast. People watch our podcasts. We love you guys. If you're watching the podcast, <laughs> please, I'm begging you, comment. <laughs> I keep saying comment. I, I'm not joking. Please. People do comment. I just, I, a few people do and I really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. But I, if I you watch... Not. Any of the episodes, please, I beg you. I am begging you right now to comment. I just want, I want to know what you guys I, think. I Be look, constructive. <laughs> criticize us. Let us know what we're doing wrong. Then I look forward for like the next two months of like the episodes eventually just ending with you like, guys, fucking comment. I, I need to know what you're saying. I'm begging. I'm, <laughs> you're, I, please, you're already begging. Please comment. Just comment, please. <laughs> it, it would be very nice. We need to it, know. It would be so nice. We need feedback. We need the feedback. Just tell us what you think, please. Tell us what you think about Criticade. Anyway, thanks, guys. Just say Jacob's a fucking cuck, and I'll be like, haha, true. (laughs) Sorry, Jacob. (laughs) See you guys. Subscribe. I love you. Hey, guys, this is Jacob from Criticade, that thing you just watched. Uh, Please like and subscribe if you want to see more of us. And comment, too. That's a thing.